everyone. My name is Tanzila Sheikh from Exchange for Media. Today we have the core team of Goa Fest 2023, Mohit Joshi, Jaydeep Gandhi and Prashant Kumar with us. They will be discussing a few uh, interesting things with us. First of all, Jaydeep, uh, I wanted to ask you, is that, you know, how, I, how excited are you for this time? Uh, I, I think uh, you can see on my smile how excited I am and uh, we all geared uh, working hard towards making each and every moment of Goa Fest uh, memorable. Uh, yeah, so we're excited and looking forward to ourselves enjoying Goa Fest. Great, and um, tell me, Mohit, can you please tell me, chime in and tell me that what's the footfall that you guys are uh, you know, expecting this year and, you know, are there entries from abroad as well, etc, etc. So, you know, uh, we have already had a good conversion in terms of the foot, foot also people who have, this is, uh, sorry, sorry for this, because I think it's, uh, yeah, cool. So, uh, we have had already go a good uh, number of registrations this year uh, compared to last year. Uh, and uh, we are expecting, uh, I, I, sh I don't want to put any number to it uh, because there is a huge target that has been given to us. Uh, but uh, it is definitely going to be more than last year is what I can uh, convince you. Uh, in terms of entries, while that is the, the you know, the ad club domain and the Abyss domain, but definitely, uh, uh, there have been much better conversions this time and also uh, participation from many more agencies in India. So uh, that about it, I'm sure PK will share more about it. But uh, it's a significant step up from, uh, from the past. We have more clients uh, who are going to be uh, uh, there on panels as well as... Uh, being there on uh, on the on the, uh, in in the stage as well as the fest so overall i think it's a much better uh, positive uh, step up from the past because for two years we did not have goa fest unfortunately because of the covid last year was after the covid people were still worried about uh, covid at that point in time this year hopefully everybody should be free from it Tell me, are there, uh, you know, entries from foreign as well? Like, you know, like Kans, um, Kans is there for us. Do you think that, you know, we're getting entries from abroad agencies as well? Agencies from uh, outside India? It is like, nice uh, like always, uh, you know, there have been, there are obviously categories for, you know, outside India agencies. So, these are more managed by the Abbeys. And I don't know how they would like to, you know, share the same, but definitely there are categories which we normally do and recognize, you know, work, you know, beyond India as such. I'm sure there are people, you know, participating like how they used to, you know, in previous years. So, yeah, it's very exciting. In fact, um, we have definitely received more and more entries this year, uh, if you compare to previous years. And we've had more agencies actually participating. Uh, so those are all very encouraging and you know, extremely excited. Greatest, greatest. So, uh, you know, let's talk about Prashant, since you have started speaking, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, you know, sponsorship. I was there at the curtain raiser uh, event and uh, I saw all the sponsors. So tell me, like, have you received more sponsorship uh, this year than last year? And I, I mean, what what are the sponsors looking forward to as as uh, an entity? What do you think that you're going to provide them? No, I think it has been very much uh, encouraging for us when we have had more people actually you know, participating as sponsors, supporting the entire fest. Um, we are quite fortunate to see a lot more people actually coming forward and contributing to this fest across different sectors. I mean, apart from, I mean, every every media, everyone representing different media have been part of this. So that's really, really encouraging for us. Uh, um, um, so, you know, in order to just... Uh, 
put a, some kind of you know um, direction on that, we probably will have more than double the number of people who have done in the history years, right? Uh, in terms of sponsors. And what we've also done this time is to make them part of uh, across different sections, across different events, across different activity, uh, because this is all, they're all part of the industry, the same industry, right? And it's important to give them that space, it's important to make them part of it, it's important for them to be part of the entire learning, unlearning, newer things, discussions, etc. So I think it is a great opportunity for us to collectively, you know, do this together. Uh, we're quite appreciative of the entire support. We're quite, uh, you know, thankful to everybody who's doing this, right? Um, even now we see a lot more interest coming, uh, not that they are a sponsor, but wanting to come to the fest, right? So that's again, very, very interesting for us and encouraging for us. Uh, I'm sure uh, um, in in the next week we'll we'll have more fun. So until uh, right now, how many sponsors do you have on board? Well, why not we just put it? I told you that it's more than double the uh, extra years, right? Uh, I mean, number is not significant. I think what is more interesting is how do we make more and more people be a part of this fest? I mean, this is one fest where you have a lot of learning opportunity, where we have a space where people across multiple bodies coming together, right? Um, where you have, uh, you know, it's a space where different parts of this entire ecosystem, clients, media, agencies, different experts uh, from technology side, uh, from press, um, you know, everyone actually coming together and participating. It was one event where in such a size, the entire advertising industry of this country is able to come together and recognize great work through awards, uh, represent their voice, um, you know, learn from different master classes, you know, thought-provoking ideas which come. Uh, so when you see all of this, I think the composition becomes very critical, right? I think you asked a question earlier, um, you know, how, how are you looking at the delegates? So, frankly, we know that it will be better than last year and we're quite happy with that. But what we are more happy is the composition of delegates, right? I mean, this time we're going to have more clients come there, more people from different parts of the media are coming there, uh, different experts representing multiple sectors, sports, entertainment, Bollywood from South, uh, different people from different bodies coming there, ASCII, IA, uh, multiple other, you know, representation happening, you know, senior leaders, senior clients, senior marketers coming there, you know, influencers happening there. So many, many such sessions, many such panels customized is obviously going to make it a, a space where we all interact and, uh, you know, get some exciting, uh, you know, uh, learning happening, right? So that's what we're looking for. Great is, great is, but still you haven't given me the number. So yeah, I am going to be coming back to you again on that. <laughs> on that. We, we'll, together, we'll together discuss it and go off first on the number. <laughs> Jethi, if, uh, I want to get you in the conversation again. Is that, you know, you have been a part of Go Fest since a very long time. And um, you have seen so many different, you know, Themes, different things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, what is what are the new innovations that you are bringing this year with you know Goa Fest and you know maybe contributing in your way? Contribute Goa Fest is contributing to the Indian uh, advertising industry. Tell us about that. Yeah. So, over the years, we've been uh, observing, learning, and understanding what the audience requires right so if, if we are in an industry where if we want to stay relevant we have to keep an eye on our customer so for goa fest the delegate is the customer so we have to be to, to in order to be relevant to him or to her uh, whatever we do over the years is from there right comes from there for example this year we have increased the master classes from nine of last year to made it 11 master classes this year. Even topics like, you know, the learnings uh, master class. We have different subjects which are more relevant and people would, I'm sure, would like to explore, like, you know, creative production, 
uh, brand advocacy, storytelling. Uh, we have agencies participating, which was very, uh, which was just new last year. You know, FCB was the first agency who participated in the masterclass. This year we have hubbers, we have medicine, we have publicists, we have Amazon ads. So that's that's one thing. Like you know, we have eleven masterclasses, sixteen speakers uh, spread over two days. So that's where the, that the knowledge is sparked, um, coming to inspiration and conversation. That's what is going to happen in the module. Uh, we have over 50 speakers, 15 sessions. A uh, new addition is, yes, we're going to have almost six panel discussions, which a variety of, you know, which will host clients, agencies, um, uh, the, the creative fraternity. And of course, uh, because you, you, I go back to your first question when you asked me what's exciting. To, to be really true, to answer to this question is uh, the, the collaboration. Okay, The collaboration we share with Ad Club, with ASCII, with I, IAA, with APA, uh, so that's that's really exciting. You know, we've all become one, and we are looking towards Gofest with one vision, one mission. That's it. So that, that's that's the fun of it. Uh, adding to it, uh, we realize that there is talent in our industry. Okay, so Gofest being the largest, uh, I would say, festival or a, a platform in the southeast part of it, we thought we should become a stage for our own industry people to come and perform show their talent and skill. Therefore, we came up with the idea of advertising drops. And thanks to Subhash Kamat uh, for you know, taking the lead, rolling this out. So that's all new things we are doing. Of course, last year we started our podcast, our own channel, Workcast. Now it's already on. Uh, during the curtain Razor, we did our first episode. And it's going to be a sustainable model where we're going to create content under the banner of Workcast. Uh, so between the from the curtain laser to the Goa Fest and after Goa Fest is going to go on with a lot of new content um, happening over it. So it's, it's about having your own media vehicle. Uh, this year, uh, Ad Asia, which is happening in Seoul, is going to host his roadshow. So see, we have seniors from Korea, uh, from our fraternity, who are going to come down, fly down here, and do the roadshow for the Ad Asia Seoul. So that's that's what is making it exciting. The too many amazing master classes, right? You know, I should expect yeah. too, many, too many amazing masterclasses and too many people to learn from. Yeah, even session-wise, you see, uh, what is uh, like you know, fifty speakers we've never had in the ballroom, so so that's that's a big number, and the variety of topics, like how PK mentioned, the the composition of uh, people, the composition of uh, the topics is very interesting. The mix. Mohit, why don't uh, you talk about, uh, you know, I wanted to speak to you because you come from a company which is all about, you know, media. Uh, so why don't you speak about the theme of Goa Fest this year? Um, AI, you know, AI, which is the main theme of Goa Fest this year and which is also a bust uh, the worst thing and this this amazing thing that that the advertising industry is more excited about so tell me you know uh, what what do you think that you know why do you think that ai is a buzzword? word last year we had metaverse this year we have ai so what what sort of you know um, importance does ai play in the advertising industry and how you are also you know with goa fest how you are bringing that uh, that thing into the industry. See, more than AI, it is about the future, you know, and AI is an important aspect of the future, generative, generative AI the way it is today. And it it uh, raises a lot of questions in the industry. Uh, those are the questions that are being answered over here. Uh, it, it impacts media, it impacts creativity, it impacts everything right and that is, uh, those are the things that are being discussed so it was but obvious that we needed a topic that was very very relevant to all aspects of the industry and i think uh, generative ai and the future that it is going to be delivering to us is is what we felt was most relevant and uh, as i said there are a lot of doubts that exist uh, uh, whether the uh, whether AI and technologies will uh, make certain uh, jobs redundant, certain domains redundant, all those things will get discussed in the interesting panels that we have. Importantly, the relevance of data, 
not just uh, you know ai but data is becoming very very important and we have a very interesting panel on you know uh, the, uh, marketing which is data driven and we have very senior clients who are going to be talking about how they are using data to transform the way they are marketing advertising and using media so i think the whole theme is about futurism what is it that's going to be happening in future with the technologies like ai generative ai which have become a part of uh, uh, everyday life uh, today so i think uh, we we took the leap from there and uh, uh, we saw how would the creative boundaries be uh, different tomorrow how would be different tomorrow how would the data driven marketing be different tomorrow so it's it's a much larger uh, perspective and it's more about gazing into the future but do you think that ai will come and grab our jobs not at all <laughs> definitely okay great is um it, just it will uh, one... help us it will help us do our jobs better <laughs> great is there was this joke outside uh, like on linkedin i think i saw that you know when clients uh, clients have to give the right brief in order to get the ai to work prashant prashant have you come across that joke yet or not the joke uh, joke happened in the curtain race right <laughs> okay <laughs> one last question i would like to ask the three of you if you can you know a few lines that what do you aspire goa fest to be like do you want it to be the cans of india or how do you like what do you aspire it to be jere mohi you want to take uh very interesting question a difficult question also But yes, uh, <clears throat> one thing is there. From uh, we would like Goa Fest to be one festival where anyone from our fraternity, media, marketing, clients, will will wish that you know. I wish I was there. I I wish to be there. Yeah, that's 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 where Goa Fest we want to get. And going back to uh, uh, a vision and a mission given by Mr. Stan Balsara is over the few years, we 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 will surely shift into the stadium of Goa Fest. Where we have more than five six thousand delegates, and that's the scale at which you know we are working towards year by year, year by year. So it's 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 given by him that you know we should reach there. Yeah, we'll, we'll go there. Great is more. What do you think? What what according In to you? My what... view is already it's already the cans of India, you know. But uh, uh, we feel tomorrow more clients come for it. All agencies participate. So those are the things that we want to. Uh, 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 future gays and we are very hopeful that it will happen the way things are prashant what do you think what what do you want to go off as to be i think it's a space that gives you a lot of um, you know opportunity to learn and learn uh, get recognized um, exchange your thinking with uh, colleagues across the industry um, have some fun get entertained uh, so it's a combination of everything right but i see as such when i look at um, you know every we're doing this this is the 16th edition of go office um but if you look at you know every five years of go office you know we have had a, a different uh, opportunity and distinctive opportunity because the changing landscape you know um different leaders coming in newer people coming in all that is again in the entire evolution of our industry right and we have seen how many newer people have come into industry especially last 2 to 3 years how many uh, people have gone to new roles how um, you know the expansion of different categories different sectors have happened these are all opportunities uh, you know these are all instances where uh, you would like to be heard you would like to hear many things you would like to use it and apply in uh, in the coming years and go office gives you that opportunity right um uh, we we you know we all collectively get into this and try and see how every year we can be you know where do we can be incremental and we can also help people shape up their own future uh in the coming years right um uh, so that is commit that is a, that is committed by everybody who gets into this and i must tell you that we're quite thankful to people who have been 
involved in this, right? I think we had a great, um, you know, collection of leadership uh, helping us to curate the entire content, right? Um, when we said that there are going to be clients, there are going to be, you know, leaders from, you know, global uh, markets, there are going to be, you know, experts from multiple facets of, you know, sectors, industries, many people from different bodies, uh, people representing Bollywood, the entire entertainment sector, all of them were going to be the stage. We're going to have 50 plus speakers never had before in Goa Fest this year. We've had, anyway, had the highest masterclass happening, right? The masterclass being done by experts, very senior experts, right? I think, uh, you know, it's not a comparison of course. I think great work which gets celebrated at the Abbey's. Uh, we've seen already so many of them actually winning the medals at Cannes or even many other global platforms, right? I think there's a, there, is, there is an abundant opportunity for marketers across multiple regions, multiple funnels, focusing on different things to also share different kinds of work, different interesting work, and therefore get recognized for the same. So it's a great collection of great opportunities. Uh, uh, it's also... A, a space where you can celebrate, you can learn, as well as you can experiment, right? Many things, right? So uh, we feel that this net net should make people get inspired when they come and go and at least have at least one or two aspects which they can apply, right? Uh, that's what it is. Greatest. Uh, so on that inspiring note of, you know, nurturing the new talent and inspiring them to do great work let's call it a day thank you very much gentlemen to you know uh, connect with me and talk to me about goa fest let's see you next week and uh, let's let's be goa fest <laughs> let's have goa fest okay, okay great okay. have a great day thank you thank you bye bye